Well, hello there. My name is Formative Fox, and I am your one-stop shop for cosplay and DIY. JK, I'm just a loser on the internet, giving you a tutorial today, not a uh, makeup tutorial, but a tutorial on how to make some nice teeth. So these are the teeth in question. They are made from thermal beads, and I have dyed the thermal beads to look like gums. They are obviously to fit my mouth, so they are custom made. The thermal beads that I used are the Play-Doh moldable plastic beads. I got these off of Amazon. They are very cheap. For this, you will also need food coloring. I used regular food coloring. If you can find a non-water-based food coloring, I would probably suggest it over the food coloring I used, just because it will mix in with the plastic a little bit better. You'll also need a lighter and some scissors. Now, I would take this project with parental guidance kids. We are using some sharp objects such as this X-Acto knife. If you're not comfortable using an X-Acto knife, don't. You can definitely use a pair of scissors to do all of your shaping. I just found that the X-Acto knife was more exact, if you will. You will also need some crazy glue. You need crazy glue with a very specific ingredient. I'll make a list of all of the things that I used below so that you can also have a shopping list if you wanted to do this for yourself. I used an old candle container for the container to heat up my plastic in, and and I also used some nail polish. The nail polish probably isn't suggested just because I don't think it's very good to put in your body. You're gonna put the plastic that you want to heat up in your container and you're gonna wait for your water to boil. I would suggest having an electric kettle just for convenience sake. I have a stove kettle and I kept having to reboil water because I live in Canada and it's cold here and things cool off way faster than they're supposed to. It was annoying. All right, so once you have your hopefully boiling water, you're gonna pour it over your thermal plastic. If you're not using huge chunks like I am, you'll definitely notice that it turns clear quite a bit faster. I'm only using the big chunks because I'm using plastic I didn't use in previous projects. Once it is fully clear, you can then fish it out with a utensil. I would suggest not going in with your hands because it is still boiling water. And that is unsafe, and we don't do that here. I would definitely be careful when you are working with it for the first couple of seconds. It does cool off relatively fast, so you do have to work with it pretty fast. I would suggest having gloves for this. I was silly and didn't and ended up looking like I had massacred somebody. So wear gloves, moral of the story. So I am going to use a folding technique to get the color into the plastic. You're going to do this quite a few times. If you find that the plastic hardens up on you, just put it back into the boiling water. If you need to add more boiling water, definitely do so. And keep doing this until you reach your desired color. For the teeth that I used for Bouzette, I used blue and red to make a purple color because I wanted to make an unnatural pair of teeth. For this set that I'm making right now, I'm just using the red because we wanted to make it a little bit more natural. If at any point you want to see what color it's going to be when it hardens up, just let it harden, and then if you would like to add more color, just drop it into the boiling water again and continue. Once you have achieved the color that you want, you're going to take a small piece, maybe half of this, and you're going to set the other half aside for later. With this first half, you're gonna put it over your real teeth. Only go back as far as your smile uncovers. Otherwise, you're gonna notice that it hits your gag reflex and you don't want that. Make sure to make this part very thin. You are still adding teeth and an extra layer of gum, so you don't want it to be too thick that you can't close your lips over it. You also don't want it to be uncomfortable. I would make sure to make indents with your nails where your teeth end on the inside so that you can cut away the excess and it's not uncomfortable to wear. Before placing this plastic in your mouth, you're gonna wanna make sure you rinse it off thoroughly. Also, when you are forming the plastic, you're gonna make sure that you bite down. If you are making two sides, so a top and a bottom, I would form the plastic on the top, form the plastic on the bottom, and then make sure that you bite down while it is still malleable that way they fit together seamlessly it's gonna look pretty funny especially if you're using pink it almost looks like you don't have top teeth I had a, a giggle over this then when it is solid enough you're going to take it out make sure you don't take it out too early if it is not solid enough it will cave in on itself and you'll have to do it again 
Then you are going to cut off the excess with some scissors or the X-Acto knife if you're comfortable. I used the X-Acto knife because, I mean, it was a little bit easier and a little bit sharper and I could control it a little bit better. And you're going to follow those divots that you made with your nails on the inside. Once the excess plastic is cut off, you're going to place it with the other half that we started off with. At this point, you can then try it on again. If anything has folded improperly or it no longer fits, you are going to have to restart. But if it still fits and it feels comfortable, then you can continue with the process. Once you are satisfied with your base, you're going to rinse your water out. For this, we are going to make some white teeth. So we're going to take some more of those beads, probably not as many as I put in there, and some more boiling water. And then you are going to wait. And when they're clear, just like before, the beads are workable. And then you're going to take a tiny piece and you're going to mold it into the shape of a tooth, however you want that tooth to be shaped. Make sure to reference this against the mold that you've already made of your teeth and to keep it thin because you want it to fit inside of your mouth still. And make sure to reference where your other teeth sit. You wanna make sure that you can still close your mouth while these teeth are in. Use the scissors to shape the tooth in the way that you want it. Wash, rinse, and repeat until you're happy with the teeth. Make sure to keep them in order so you remember which teeth are supposed to go where when it's time to glue them. And you can still modify the teeth after they have been glued on with the X-Acto knife. So if they end up being too long or too jagged or not the right shape, you can modify them after. Now, all this being said, the original pair of teeth took me a very long time to get all of the teeth correct and making the top and the bottom and making sure that they intertwine properly to took a very long time. I was very picky with my first set of teeth. I'm doing this for the sake of showing you guys and not necessarily taking all of the time that I did with the original set because this would take hours. Not even joking. And I got very mad. So if you are looking to tackle this project on your own, expect it to take a little bit of time and definitely be patient with it and yourself. The nice thing with this though, is you can keep reshaping as much as you'd like to. All right, so once it's time for glue, you're gonna get out your crazy glue, make sure your teeth are all set out so you know where they're supposed to go, and start gluing. I did this starting from the center, so you're gonna take your center two teeth and set them where they're supposed to go. Be very careful with the crazy glue. Obviously, I think we've all had that experience where we glue ourselves to something or ourselves, and it's not very pleasant, so be careful. And it goes without saying, before this is completely set, do do not put it into your mouth. The glue is safe once it is dry, but it is not when it is wet. So I would give it a good 10 to 20 minutes. I know that's probably overkill, but you wanna make sure it's absolutely dry before you set this anywhere near your mouth. Once you are sure that it is completely dry and you have all the teeth glued where they should be, you can test it out in your mouth if there are any teeth that are too long, you can modify them with the X-Acto knife or the scissors. I found for this part that the X-Acto knife was a lot better and a lot easier to maneuver around. And you can modify until you are completely happy with the teeth. And then you're going to take the remainder of the plastic that we set aside before and you are going to heat it back up. And then we are going to take a small piece and smooth it out into a strip. And while the strip is still malleable, you are going to make a natural looking gum line, smooth it over the teeth press it into the crevices and press it down between the teeth. And with either your thumbnail or something that's rounded, you are going to uncover a little bit of the tops of teeth just so that it looks like the teeth are coming out of the gums. I don't know if this is adequately explained. I couldn't find the words to explain it for the life of me. So I hope that this is all right. And once you are completely happy with it, this is where I took the lighter to it. If you're not comfortable with this part, you can just super glue that strip onto your teeth. I, however, did not want to do that and found that the best way to marry the two together was to use the lighter to melt the plastic slightly and to press it together. I also found that taking the lighter to the plastic made it look a little bit smoother and more like gums and rounded off the bits that were sharper. Be very careful with this. I just find that the lighter heats up smaller portions of the plastic instead of having to dip the whole thing in hot water again and undoing all of the work that you actually do like. You don't want to mess up any of the mold that you did underneath. 
if you melt too much of it, it won't fit your teeth anymore. And then you're gonna be SOL. And you're gonna have to start over again. I probably made three sets of my original pair before I got a pair that fit me properly and I was happy with. And once you have played with this enough and you are happy with the results of it, the last optional step is to take the clear nail polish and go over the teeth. This just gives them a very natural shine. You definitely don't have to do that if you're not comfortable with it. The plastic itself will already be shiny. And if the teeth are too sharp, you can also take a file to them. And then once that's finished, you have some very creepy looking teeth. If you feel so inclined, please follow me on my socials. I have, sorry about the red hands. I have an Instagram, I have a TikTok. Uh, obviously, I have videos here. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. I hope you learned something about uh, thermal beads. Have a great night. Take care. Bye.